We've been hearing more about the illness in kids linked to the coronavirus, multi-system inflammatory syndrome, or MIS-C. Cases have been reported in more than 20 states, including right here in Ohio. And as a mom, it's concerning. So I had a very candid discussion with Dr. Camille Sabella, head of the Center for Pediatric Infectious Diseases at the Cleveland Clinic Children's Hospital, about what parents should be looking out for. As a parent, I was almost, I don't know, I felt a little bit of security thinking, okay, it's not hitting kids as hard. And now we are seeing this missy pop up and we're seeing kids with heart conditions and heart issues related to this. As a parent, am, am I concerned? Should I be even more concerned now? What are my risks of my child getting this? Yeah, so... I think it's important to remember that the manifestations of coronavirus infections in children uh, has really been incredibly mild. Uh, and most kids really, even the ones that, that have become infected have really done very well. And certainly any children who manifest fevers for several days, along with any of the other manifestations that we're hearing or seeing, such as rash, uh, diarrhea, respiratory symptoms, any of those things should certainly warrant a call to the pediatrician. So the doctor also told me that the syndrome acts very similar to Kawasaki disease, which is an inflammatory disease that pediatricians do know how to treat. So coming up in the six o'clock hour, I asked him another question that all parents have right now. Is it safe to send my kid back to daycare or day camps this summer? So you're gonna hear from him on that.